So all these programs, the resiliency and wellness and peer support program, all came to light because the department has recognized the need for taking care of the health and wellness of all of our Denver police officers. With the job occupation calling profession like we have, we deal with abnormal incidents on a daily basis. And we're just normal people with normal emotions. And sometimes that those incidents or those stressful occurrences or those traumatic experiences that we see, they imprint on us and they last and they'll stick with us. So the department has recognized that due to some negative consequences resulting from some of these traumas or stressors was affecting not only the lives of our officers, but that led into maybe some deficiencies in performance. So in totality, they recognize we have to try to find a way to be proactive, not only just reactive on ways to help our officers. So to me, resiliency, it is very important. It's important to me personally as well as professionally. I think we all want to probably be our best possible self and our strongest self, whether it be physically, mentally, and emotionally. Because life is tough and life is difficult, and I think we all can accept that. So especially now in our profession, in the policing profession, or first responders in totality, it is very difficult every day to, to go back to work and repeat some of the same types of calls and same types of traumas or occupational stressors, occupational exposures. So if we didn't have a, a life built of resiliency and we didn't create some of this self-care in place ahead of time proactively, it can really harm us. And to me, having the resources and knowing the resources that are available and having that positive mindset, that mindset of optimistic real realism, I think that really truly helps me personally overcome some of these stresses. So if you don't have some of these skill sets and capacities available to you at the time because they're not enhanced or developed or created or built up ahead of time, I don't think we're going to have anything to draw from in that moment of crisis. Mm -hmm.